Hey everyone, Hunter back again. Gonna do uh, part two of the filling seams with a one part putty tutorial here. Uh, before I get into this, I wanted to address a question that came across from Kevin. Uh, this was a very good question that he asked and uh, something that I left out. And uh, Kevin, thanks for bringing that up. Uh, that's um, gonna help out some of the guys that, you know, probably don't have your experience or my experience. So, uh, like I say, very good question. Uh, Kevin asked um, if you need to prime before using a putty. Uh, in the case of the Evercoat uh, spot and glaze putty that I'm using, on the back of it here, the first line, and I'll read it, it says uh, apply Everglaze to a clean, dry repair surface or over dried primer surfacers. Uh, so as far as this product here, you do not need to prime first. You can if you want to. A lot of people do, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, if I remember correctly, on the Bondo Spot and Glaze Putty, I think that does need to go over top of a primer. So, you know, definitely read your, um, your putties that you're using and follow their directions because they're the manufacturer of the product, so they pretty much know best on how their product works. But, you know, in the case of what we were doing on the little egg plane, um, this is not primer on here. This is actually a coat of haze gray that I took out of, uh, out of the can and put in the airbrush and sprayed this down. Um, I don't use a lot of primers on my stuff. I like to use paint because it shows up the bodywork better for me. So, but again, uh, good question, Kevin, and I hope, hopefully that answers, uh, answers your question on that. Now, to get into um, finishing up this seam, I have sanded down the uh, strip of bond, or, um, putty that we put through the center here on the, on the seam that's on the top of the plane. I sanded that down, wet sanded it with some 800 grit, uh, wet and dry paper, and I went back over it with a small coat of the primer surfacer from Tamaya. And that's dry now. So now what we're going to do is I have a piece of the 800 grit. And I'm going to dip it in the water here. And we're just going to lightly sand over top of the seam area. And you will notice that, you know, when you're doing this, it, it seems to take a lot of the Tamaya primer surfacer off. And that's what you're looking for. Because the only thing that you pretty much want left on here is where that's filling a low spot. Uh, so after you've got your putty in the seam, if there's any low spots left, this primer surfacer um, that you brush on will fill that in. So I'm going to sand this a little bit here and then I'll hold it up so you can get a, a better view of what we've done. I'm not going to do the whole thing so I can keep the video kind of short here on this part. Just wanted to give you an idea on how we go about doing this technique. All right, I've got that sanded down pretty good. I'm going to wipe it off here. And there we have it wiped down. Now there's a couple of things that's going to show up in this that, that I can um, kind of point out here a little bit. Okay, now that is what we have. Now if you look at that on the outer edges... Um, actually out here you will see the haze gray from Tamaya. Now right there at the seam in the center um, that is the color of the kit plastic and I am fighting with this camera today to try to get it to focus it is not wanting to do it. There we go. Now you can see the kit plastic color there and you can see our, our putty that we put down our seam. And there's a couple spots of gray there. That is the Tamaya Primer Surfacer that's filling in the low spots that we had left. And you can also see that there on the scribe line there. If I can get a hold of it. Yeah, right above my finger here. Yeah, right there. You can see where I got a little crazy with the scriber, and that Samaya filler filled that in. Um, so that's pretty much what you're looking for. You can see how, how thin that line is. Uh, another thing that, I, that I'd like to say on that, and this goes back to Kevin's question, uh, remember that when you're filling in a seam, 
sometimes in that seam, you will not have a surface under it. Uh, it'll actually be a gap all the way through. Um, so, you know, really think about that also because if you're using a primer first, um, if that seam is open all the way through, your filler is not going to be sitting on primer. It's not going to be sitting on the surface. It's kind of sitting in free air inside of that seam. So always take that in consideration when, you, when you're filling your seam and make sure you get that putty pushed down in there real good. And, you know, that'll, that'll save you some problems later on. But that's what we have. That's how easy it is to do. And you can see how clean that came out. I'm going to actually spray this with another coat of uh, the haze gray from Tamaya. And uh, it should look pretty decent then. I may have to do a little bit more sanding, um, which I got a few other spots I got to sand out on it. But I'll be switching over to uh, probably 1,000 or 1,500 grit to do that. So hopefully that gives you an idea on, you know, how easy it is to work with one part putties. And um, like always, if you have any questions or concerns, just leave me a comment on the video. I'll be more than glad to get back to you on it. So I'm going to leave you with that today. And uh, thank you for watching, and we'll talk to you a little bit later.